about just ten then? No, Simon, I'm not lending you any more money. Well, why not? You bloody well know why not. I just need to get some smokes. It's nearly full. Don't treat me like an idiot, Simon. I know perfectly well you want the money to bet on cards or horses or to put it in some bloody machine. Oh, steady on, Kate. I think you're getting a bit carried away. Oh, here. really? Well, what happened to the $200 I gave you last week? Well, it was to fix my car. <laughs> yeah, so you said. So why isn't it going properly? Oh, it's a complex problem. You wouldn't understand. You gambled it all, didn't you? But no, Kate. I did not gamble all of it. Yeah, just most of it. You just can't help yourself, can you? Whenever you're broke, you make up lies and excuses to get money out of me. You're unbelievable. I'm starting to wonder whether letting you move in here was a good idea. Hold on, Katie. Don't go making any hasty decisions just because of some little misunderstanding. After all, let's not forget why we got together in the first place, eh? You wouldn't want to turn your back on all we've got now. If you prefer I don't have the occasional punt every now and again, that's cool. I don't have to. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. I'm glad to hear it. Now, about that tenor. Not so fast. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Call it a little insurance policy. I'm going to put this hundred dollar note on the table and if it's not there when I get back from work it's over. <laughs> you joking? No. So I suggest you turn your attention from the race guide to the employment guide and find yourself a job. Bye now. So you don't think I can go a whole day without having a bet? Who are you kidding? Will you just watch? Bloody easy. It's not as though I'm an addict or anything. Now, jobs. It's Dwayne, mate. How are you? Uh, not so good, actually. This will make you feel better. Race one, Flemington. Prancing ninny. It's a dead cert. It's going to walk it in. What are the odds? 20 to 1 the win. And it's a dead cert? Absolutely. Hottest tip I've ever had. Had to give you a call, let you in on it. You've been a keen betting man and all. Yeah, well, thanks, mate, but I, I'm not really interested. You're not interested? Have I got the right number? This is Simon, isn't it? Yeah, it's me. Well, mate... This is the lucky break you've been looking for. You'd be mad to pass up this opportunity. Well, yeah, it sure sounds like a great tip and all, but oh, I think I'd better give it a miss. Yeah. OK, you're lost, bud. See ya. See? It was easy. I don't need to have a bet. What am I doing? What took you so long? Look, I'm on my way. Where are you? Sports bar outside, but you better hurry. Race one starts in 15 minutes.
Come on. Don't tell me now. Start your past. So important, why doesn't someone answer the phone? Oh, I just might get. Mate, what took you so long? Car problems. Well, you really got to get that thing fixed, mate. It was you who talked me out of getting it fixed last week and back in that crippled old nag hey, on hey. the 7th. Any other day, that thing would have romped it in. Yeah? So what happened that day? I don't know how the hell should I know. Look, we haven't got time for this. We start in five minutes. You got any money? Yeah, 100 bucks. So you put 50 on for me, right? What? Well, you know how it is. No, how is it? Well, I've got a slight liquidity problem You've at the moment. You've always got a liquidity problem. Hey, this is a red-hot tip I'm giving you. That's got to be worth something. I, I didn't have to call you, you know. All right, keep your shirt on. It's my man. Simon! Oh, I'll be the guy, mate. 